What's going on, guys? Medio Daddy Mining here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. What we are going to talk about today is Caspa. I am sure everyone has heard about the dusting that is going on right now with Caspa. From what I gather, what a dusting is is a uh, evil doer, so to speak, uh, is sending out hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of very extremely small transactions. As far as what this accomplishes, um, I don't know if it's if it's in a sense of like a like a like a DDoS attack choking out the network, or if it's kind of I don't know trying to scam people or not scam people, but you know gain information to other people's walls to steal their crypto. I'm not really sure what a dusting is exactly, but I, I believe it's something along along those uh, those lines. Anyways, so I was actually going to do a video on this a couple of days ago, and I ran into all kinds of freaking problems, man. Um, I lost internet to my house for a little while, uh, you know, some some days ago. I believe it was actually like the day before the dusting started, or maybe even it was the, the same day that the dusting started. I don't know, somewhere in there. But um, somebody actually cut a fiber line going into my town. I live in a very, very small rural town, and... You know, somebody, somebody didn't call Julie, apparently, because the fiber line was cut. Um, and then after that was all sorted out and taken care of, the very next day, or like I said, maybe even the same day, the dusting started to happen. And my node on my Proxmox VM just was acting so freaking weird, man. Like, like KDX wouldn't even load. And it was, it was just a freaking mess. You know, I was messing around with it for a little bit, and I thought that... My, my VM was was bad, was was just screwed. So I was actually getting to the point of where I was going to just nuke my VM and start over. I did a little bit of research online and that's where I found out that the dusting was happening. Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Caspa Silver had posted a video like four hours before I did my search, kind of um, letting people know about the dusting and how to remedy it. And uh, as of yesterday, I've only seen his video out there about how to remedy the node. So I figured I would show you guys how to do that. So here we are on Caspinet's GitHub page. And this is what you want right here. Caspad anti-pan, Caspad version uh, 0 0.12.14 anti-spam patch. And of course, as always, I will leave a link to this description. Ah, man, I cannot talk today. Holy crap. I will leave a link for this down in the description below. Of course, you will download for whatever your your operating system is. So for Windows, I already already download I already downloaded this and already implemented it. So what will happen is you will download the zip file or whatever whatever have you, extract it, and then what you're going to do is you are going to copy all of these and then you are going to go to your C drive, program files, Caspa, KDX, and then bin, Windows X64, and then you are going to paste all of those files in here and you are going to replace everything. And make sure that you have obviously KDX closed when you do this. So after you replace those files, go ahead and fire KDX up. I'm already doing that. And you will notice that you will now be at 12.14 instead of 12.13. So, and obviously it will have to resync the DAG and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, mine took, I actually, I, I can't even tell you exactly how long it took. The, the Casper Silver guys only took him an hour and a half. Of course, that all is dependent upon your, what type of specs you have in your device. Um, I did mine this morning before I went to work and I just let it go. So I'm not really exactly sure how long it took. So but now if you go to Caspad over here, now you will see that all of these spam shares that are coming in, they are now being rejected. So, anyways, that's that's how you take care of that. Now you can you can mine back to the node. I still haven't stuck any of my devices back on. I'm still pool mining. Um, in the midst of getting this going, you know, obviously I didn't want to lose any mining time or anything like that, so I stuck everything on the pool. And I am I'm probably 20 Caspa away from a payout. So, as soon as that takes place and I get a, I get a full payout, um, I'm going to switch back over to the node. We'll see how that goes. And I actually had to reinstall this on a different computer. 
Um, yeah, like, like I was saying earlier, I had a I had a heck of a time with my my VM on Proxmox, and everything was working, you know, dandy, absolutely awesome, up until either the fiber line was cut or this dusting, uh, maybe both. I don't know. Could be a fluke. I'm not really sure. But it just seems like everything went to crap around that that same time. So um, anytime I would launch KDX on my my VM, it would actually end up crashing it. I don't know why. A lot of weird things that I need to look at. I'm not really going to get going dig. I'm not really going to dive too far deep into it until I really know more about it. But I actually ended up installing this on a uh, laptop of mine. And it's running on like an 11th or 12th, 12th gen i5 more than enough for just to run this node. I would really like to get my VM working again and I don't know, maybe I'll just nuke the whole thing and start over. Something's, something is squirrely with it. So I don't know. I really like the idea of having virtual machines for my coins and doing it that way. I mean, I suppose I could do the exact same thing with my laptop and only fire up the laptop when I want to, you know, check in on how much I've made or, you know, what have you or cash out, whatever. And then when I got it installed on this laptop, I about had a mini heart attack. I was missing my coin as of right now you can see I'm up to you know 20, 29,253 but in the time that you know everything kind of went down and I put my two KS zeros on a pool it had mined 300 coins well my DAG was synced you know 100% and for some reason it was only showing the 300 and something that I had mined over the past day or two and I, I about shit a brick so I do vaguely remember something in in Casper Silver's video saying that to see Oh my God, what did he say? I'd have to go back and watch it again. But something along the lines of it needed to be updated to this version for you to see your old coin. And that's exactly what I did. So I installed KDX last night, came down here this morning before work, copied the files, reopened KDX because then it has to resync again. And then when I got home today from work, right before I took my kid to soccer, I checked it and lo and behold, all my coin was there. I was ecstatic as all hell. It was fantastic. So I believe that is the deal. Like to see any old coin that you have, you have to be on this new 12.14 version. Okay, well, I apologize for all the uh, the rambling and uh, the the talking head bits. For those of you who still stuck it out to the end, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. I did end up moving over one of my KS zeros from pool mining to uh, solo mining. Now I left the uh, the one KS zero on the pool. Like I said earlier, I am I'm very close to a payout, so I just wanted to finish that, make sure I got all the Casper that I was mining while I was on the pool. So we have this guy on here now. He hasn't been up long. It's been up just under an hour. No block state, obviously, but yeah, we're mining. So that is how you upgrade the node to the new version so you don't get screwed by the dust attack. So once again, I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys um, sticking it out this far through the talking head video. And of course, you know, all the all the typical stuff, you know, please, please like the video, subscribe if I helped you out. Yeah, that would really help me out is if uh, if you liked and subscribe. So that'll about do it for the night. You guys all have a wonderful, wonderful night, day, whatever, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Everybody just have a fantastic one. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye.